Hey guys, this car has got a fully working light system, interior lights, doors can be opened, four wheel steering, sound module, smoke machine and a lot more. This car has got it all. So guys, in today's video we've got a brand new release by Trasp or HG. And as we all know, they make awesome looking RC cars. So the latest one I reviewed was the Suzuki Jimny and the Toyota FJ40. And appearance wise, these cars are just always amazing. Only performance wise, yeah, they are a little bit, uh, yeah, yeah, in my opinion. But this time they should have changed a lot of things and they included a special trigger in this car. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find an awesome looking car, we've got a transmitter, a USB cable, some tools, we've got some side mirrors, we've got some instruction stickers and we've got a 600mAh 2S lithium ion battery. But let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. The transmitter runs on 4 AAAs which you need to supply of your own, so it's capable of one and driving. We've got a phone wheel inside there and yeah the build quality feels a bit cheapish in my opinion. On top of here you'll find a million of buttons and all of these buttons are for controlling all the functions inside the car, but you really have to read the instructions to understand everything. <laughs> All of these buttons are for the trim function, to turn the sound on and off, to turn the horn on and off. You have got a light system inside, a smoking machine and a four wheel steering. Oh, I just told you the secret function of this car. So let's have a closer look at the car now, but before we do so, I'm just going to add all the stickers and a trim and then I will come back to you. And here is the car guys, what do you think of it? Well appearance wise, they nailed it again. Just like all of the other models that HG or Trash produces, you know. All of these cars are just amazing with their appearance. And they have got a lot of details inside there. And I always like the appearance of this. So yeah, let's have a closer look at all the details of this car. So in the front you will find a plastic front bumper which has shackles already mounted on there. And I really like that small detail. So we've got a fully working light system inside there. So the bonnet or the hood can be opened and underneath there you will find your electronic so we've got some wipers sitting right over there we've got door handles mirrors a roof rack and even an area on top of the car so the doors can be opened and inside the car you will find a very detailed interior just let me show you the other side so the driver's side and just look at this guys we even got a toyota badge on the steering wheel and i think we even got some dashboard lighting but we will find out in a bit so at the rear of the car you also have got a light system of course and the tailgate can be opened and your battery just slides in place like that and right over there is your filling port for the smoking machine we've got the tow-ins the exhaust system you know this thing really looks awesome Underneath the car you'll find some metal sashy rails is right over there and of course the drive line. And here I had some problems with the previous models. So in the previous models everything was just too tight and it couldn't move freely. But just look at this guys, everything can move freely with this one and also the steering you know, I can just do it like this and with the previous models I couldn't do that. Another thing are the shocks you know, with the previous models they added some very thick grease inside there so and therefore it couldn't move freely but now they have changed that. So so Trash, thank you for listening to us and change the things that we hated about this car because this just looks pretty promising. So this car has got plastic gears, we've got bushings inside there and we've got an extra mounted servo sitting right over there and we've got an extra mounted servo in the rear because this is a four wheel steering car and I really like that. So let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on. 
The car's powered on and just look at all the lights guys. We've got a million of lights inside there and I really like that. And we even got some dashboard lighting, you know, this thing really looks awesome. And there are a lot of different modes that you can choose from. So for example, the hazard mode is activated now and now it's turned off. So now you just have got the normal indicators, but you really have to read the manual to understand everything. So the sound system is controlled via channel number four right over there. And when you turn that on, then you have got some sounds. Do you hear that? And even a horn. So that's pretty funny. And channel number 5 right over there is for the smoking machine. So let me first demonstrate now the steering servo. So the steering servo has got plenty of power and plenty of speed. So that's all fine. So press the on-off button once and then you will go into the four wheel steering mode. Press it again, then you will have the crab steering. Press it again, rear wheel steering only, press it again and then front wheel steering again. So throttle wise this is the low modulation. And this is so much better than the, than the previous models. So all the previous models couldn't do this. So thank you Trash for listening to us because this is just so much better than the other models. And I really like that. So for now there's only one thing left to do and that's take it outside for a spin. So guys we're on the test course and the first obstacle that we're going to do is this big incline right over here. So if a crawler car is any good it should make it all the way up this big boulder. So let's see if this one can do it. And here we go on to the next obstacle. This incline is even more difficult than the other one, so let's see if this car is able to get up here. So I turned on the four wheel steering, because I think we are going to need it with this car. So the Suzuki Jimny and the FJ40 from Toyota were not able, I think it was, to get up here. But let's see if we can get this one up this big boulder. So this is the first part cleared. Let's go on to the second one. And do you see the articulation? The previous models couldn't do that. And yes, he did it. Now let's see how this car performs when driving on a slope. So it's a bit high this car with the, with the weight. So let's see if we can do anything with it. But yeah, I don't have got very high hopes. But until now it's doing it. Oh, almost tipped it over. Well, it did a pretty good job. So guys, let's see if this car is any good when doing some rock crawling. So this is not made for rock crawling. This is more like a trail truck or a scale model to play in your living room or inside your garden. But let's see if we can manage to get up here. So the articulation is already much better than the Suzuki Jimny and the Toyota FJ Cruiser. So they did a pretty good job by, yeah, improving that part. And I really like the four wheel steering. It really helps this car a lot. And we are already almost on top of the big boulders. I'm pretty sure. Whoa, we are on the other side. I totally didn't expect that. So I'm not going to try to go up again because it's not going to do that. But let's do some trailing with it. But one thing what I'm noticing about this car, it lacks a bit of power. And yeah, that's a bit of a downside. But you know, this is more like a scale model instead of like a rock crawler or something like that. So yeah, I think for now it's, it's fine. So there's a big hole, do you see that? So let's drive around that. Yeah, I really do like the four wheel steering option. So let's do the crab walk. So press the on off button once. And now it can go sideways and it can go backwards. Yeah, I really like this option. So let's do the four wheel steer again. Yeah, so four wheel steering. And here is a big boulder coming up. Let's see if we can get up here. So here we go. Easy on the throttle, easy on the throttle, and here we go, full power. Well, it's not the fastest car in the world, but you know, until now this one is much better than the previous one and I really like this car. So for now I will just give you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts about this car.
So guys, that was the driving with the 4Runner. And what do I think of this car? Well, appearance-wise, this car looks awesome. Just like all the other models which they produce, you know. These are just always very detailed and everything can be opened. The light system, the smoke, the sound. These things are just great. Only performance-wise, the Suzuki Jimny and the FJ40, yeah, they weren't really there in my opinion. But luckily they have changed a lot of things inside these cars, you know. And now it is very, very nice to drive. Of course, you know, this car is not a real work quality. It's not a powerhouse or something like that But still you know it performed pretty well And yeah overall the driving is very very nice So one thing what I really would like to have seen changed Is the motor size Because the motor size in this car is a bit too small in my opinion And sometimes when you when you want to drive up uh, to an obstacle It just lacks a bit of power But yeah I think that's the only thing that I would change about this car So overall I really like this car Especially the four wheel steering option Which they have included inside this car you know i think they they nailed it this time all right guys that was it for today thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video bye bye